Hi and welcome to the fourth in a series of tutorials which will show you how to create an Angry Birds style game in Scratch. So, so far you should have imported your background graphics and your sprites, put some sound effects in if you're going to use them and you should have initialized and set up your variables and the bird's starting position. You might actually notice since last time I've removed the variable angle because I thought of a simpler way of managing that so we won't use angle now but uh, other than that you should be set up and ready to go. doesn't matter if you still have angle there but you just don't won't need it for the game. Right so let's get started. What we need to do is allow the user to change the angle that the bird is facing. We've already said that. Um, and we're going to do that by using the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard and if they press one of those keys the bird will rotate in the catapult so the first thing that we need to do to begin that is we need to go to the control box blocks and put a green flag command in there now what I'm going to do next is add a forever loop which we might well change later but for the moment what we want to do is just continue to check to see if the keyboard is being pressed so this will happen over and over and over again we don't just want one check and then it stops it needs to keep checking so we've used a forever loop and we're going to put all our instructions within that loop there so my first job then is to check to see where whether the keyboard has been pressed so I'm going to use an if block and I'll drop that inside there and then I go to sensing and my operator well the thing that I'm my condition sorry that I'm checking is to see whether the right key has been pressed so what I'm doing now is I'm doing forever if right arrow pressed and then I need to decide what's going to happen if it has been pressed now what I want to happen is the bird will rotate to point in the right direction so I'm going to go motion and use the turn degrees block and change that to one degree okay and let's just run that to see what happens and there you go you see that works that just rotates the bird very nicely within the catapult now it's not going to be a lot of use unless I can actually turn it back again so I'm going to add a similar set of commands to move it back the other way so I'll do that and then we'll look at the next bit okay so we're done and I've added a similar command if you notice to move it this time left one degree so if I run it now I can rotate the bird in both directions and that's fine that works perfectly but what you could do is you could add a sound effect like in the original Angry Birds game there's a like creaking sound on the catapult when you're changing the angle so let's see if we can do that and it's very simple to do you should hopefully have already imported your Angry Birds sounds and to add the sound to the cut to the script all we do is we click on the sound control blocks there and we want play sound we don't want play sound until done because that would put a pause between the user being able to press the keys so we're going to add Angry Birds sling and then we're going to add that same sound in there so let's run it okay so that works it's not perfect because it keeps stopping the sound every time the user presses presses the key but it does play when they let go so that works reasonably well so now we've got our bird so he's the user can change the angle and get ready to launch so the next tutorial will show how to get the bird to move through the air.